What are the different types of data and why should I care? Knowing the scale of measurement for your data is an important aspect in choosing the right statistical tool and can help prevent mistakes like taking the average of a group of zip codes or taking the ratio of two temperatures. Let's take a look at the four types of data and some examples of each. First, nominal data, which has categories that do not have a natural order or ranking. Examples include genotype, blood type, zip code, gender, race, eye color, and political party. You can code nominal data with numbers if you want, but the order is arbitrary, and any calculations such as computing a mean, median, or standard deviation would be meaningless. Second, ordinal data, which also has categories, but the order of the categories matters. Examples include socioeconomic status with categories low, middle, and high income, education level with categories high school, BS, MS, and PhD, income level with categories less than 50K, 50 to 100K, and over 100K, and satisfaction rating with categories extremely dislike, dislike, neutral, like, and extremely like. Note with ordinal data, the differences between adjacent categories do not necessarily have the same meaning. For example, the difference between two income levels, less than 50K and 50 to 100K, does not have the same meaning as the difference between the two income levels, 50 to 100K and over 100K. Third, interval data, which has order and the differences between any two values, is meaningful. Examples of interval variables include temperature in Fahrenheit, temperature in Celsius, pH, SAT score, and credit score. Last, ratio data has all the properties of interval data and also has a clear definition of zero. When a ratio of variable equals zero, there is none of that variable. Examples of ratio variables include enzyme activity, dose amount, reaction rate, flow rate, concentration, pulse, weight, length, and temperature in Kelvin, where zero Kelvin really does mean no heat. With ratio data, the ratio of two measurements has a meaningful interpretation. For example, a weight of four grams is twice as heavy as a weight of two grams. However, a temperature of 10 degrees Celsius should not be considered twice as hot as five degrees Celsius. If it were, a conflict would be created because 10 degrees Celsius is 50 degrees Fahrenheit, and five degrees Celsius is 41 degrees Fahrenheit. Clearly, 50 degrees is not twice as hot as 41 degrees. Note that sometimes the measurement scale for data is not clear cut. What kind of variable is color? In a psychological study of perception, different colors would be regarded as nominal. In a physics study, color is quantified by wavelength, so color would be considered a ratio variable. There are occasions when you have some control over the measurement scale. For example, with temperature, you can choose degrees Celsius or Fahrenheit and have an interval scale or choose degrees Kelvin and have a ratio scale. Generally speaking, you want to strive to have a scale towards the ratio end as opposed to the nominal end. <laughs>